Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video I am going to show you how to fix fatal error or low level fatal error. Error is the UE4 shooter game. Game has crashed and will close. So if you are receiving this error with the game then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game and then check. Still not working then try different launch option. Now for this you can go to steam click on play. Now over here you can try play arc no battle light anti cheat unofficial server only you can even try launch arc direct x low end graphics. So you can try different launch option and then check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to set beta participation to ASC pre aquatica or you can even try none. So make a right click go to properties go to beta stat. Now over here if this is set to none you can select this pre aquatica ASC pre aquatica. Select this once you select it this will go through an update and once the update is complete launch the game and then check still not working. Now in case if this is already set to pre aquatica in that case you can set it to none and then let the update complete and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working the next step is to remove or uninstall mods. Now this has worked for many players so it might work for you. So if you have installed mods and if you have any kind of outdated mods installed then that may be a reason. So you can uninstall or remove the mods and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working the next step is to uninstall and reinstall battle Now for this you can go to steam make our active on the game go to manage click on browse local files and then open the shooter game folder binaries win64 battle life folder open this folder here you can see uninstall battle life make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow once done now here you can see install battle life make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes now you can launch the game and then check still not working uninstall battle life once again make a right click then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow once the uninstall is complete launch the game. Now when you launch the game during the launch it will install battle eye. So here you can see battle eye launcher and here you can see starting battle eye. I received fail to start battle eye again it's trying to install battle eye. Battle eye service was successfully installed updating and then it should launch the game. If you are receiving this error stop it and then try to launch the game once again. Here you can see starting battle light updating launching the game. So that should help you to fix the problem. But, but still you are receiving the error. In that case the next step is to uninstall. Uh, sorry. Now window allow the game exe file. Add all the exe file and the B service exe file to Windows security. And let me close the game for now. Now for this open Windows settings. And then go to privacy and security. Now click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom you will see manage the ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. So click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. In my case the game is installed in the this location go to the game installation folder open shooter game binaries win64 select all the exe file add all the exe file over here now type in control panel and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings. 
click on allow another app click on browse and then do the same thing open the game folder binaries win64 select all the exe file in my case i have already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then select this one open add again allow another app click on browse select the 30 exe file add again click on allow another app click on browse and then select the 40 exe file add again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this battle life folder select this exe file click on open and make sure that you add this over here also browse all apps and then open battle life select this one and then click on open and then you can check now once done launch the game and then check still not working if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program add all the exe file next step is to verify the game file now for this make our click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename or delete the config file but when you do so all the saved settings will be lost so if you want to create a backup you can create a backup so go to steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files now open shooter game open the saved folder here you can see config folder make a right click copy this folder paste it to the desktop create a backup once you have a backup created over here now you can rename this folder you can even delete this folder the now once you rename it now you can launch the game and then you can check still not working rename the save game files create a backup first you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so for this again same location shooter game here you can see saved folder copy this folder paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder you have to start everything from scratch now you can launch the game and then check still not working next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder make a right click manage browse local files shooter game binaries win64 scroll down here you can see the game exe file make a double click so instead of launching the game from steam you can launch the game from here make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working again go to properties this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can even use this exe file make a double click launch the game if that does not work make a right click run as administrator and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia go to website select your graphic card from the list select your operating system click on find now on this page at the very top you will find the latest geforce game read driver right now this is the version now click on view and then click on download and then you run this exe file once the download is complete once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue select custom option over here click on next put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next once done restart your computer restart is a must after this after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file click on add once the game is added scroll down find the game in the list once you see the game click on it you will see high performance uh, gpu preference set it to high performance and then launch the game 
all desktop users connect your display cable or hdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card not the inbuilt intel graphic card so make sure that you connect it to the dedicated graphic card now try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make a right click go to properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try to try you can try you can try dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working remove this follow the next step now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from your computer so if you have which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected sometimes you have dongle connected disconnected if if you have any kind of virtual con a virtual controller like Vjoy etc. You can disable it or uninstall it and then check. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game. So if this is on, turn it off and then check. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, go to Nvidia app settings and turn off Nvidia overlay and close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner, any kind of overclocking application running, close it. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to run this command. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt. Make sure that you run as administrator. Click on yes to allow and then copy the first command copy all the commands one by one paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command paste it hit the enter key now run the third command paste it hit the enter key now once this is done now you can try to launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version open windows settings go to windows update or update in security check for updates once all the updates are installed, restart the computer and then you can launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. So go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. On this website, you will see Visual Studio files. Download this x86 and x64. Download both the files. Click on it. Run this exe file. If you see repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Run this exe file. Again, if you see repair option, click on repair. If you see install button, hit install. Let the installation complete. Both are installed. Close this. Restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So for this, you can uninstall the game, manage uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully and you should not receive this error anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.